I put you two roosters this morning and my intention is to pluck these I only have two so I'm not going to do a wet pluck I'm going to actually just dry pluck them uh, which is quite delicate because these birds are eight to nine weeks old so their skin is quite soft and I have to be careful it's easier to tear if they were older birds uh, it would be a lot easier to pluck older birds have a thicker skin and the feathers get quite old and they're just easy to pull out that's when they're towards the end of their life uh, so with these birds I'm going to be delicate when I'm doing it and careful not to tear the skin. There are some benefits to keeping the skin on uh, for cooking. It adds to the flavour. Uh, when you put it in the oven it helps um, retain moisture and you can roast them up and they, they golden up quite nicely if you coat them with something uh, when they've got the skin on. So they present quite well and they just taste great. Uh, but it's more effort than skinning. Skinning is quite easy so plucking takes a bit more effort and usually I'll do it if I'm just if I know I'm going to be roasting in the oven is usually when I do it. Okay, so we'll get started now. So the first thing I'm going to do is take off the legs. Now the wings. Now I'm just going to pluck. Now what you want to do is just small amounts. Otherwise it'll tear. really it, it just takes a little bit of time because I've got a bit of wind up now so the feathers are going to blow everywhere got some spectators too this is on the back uh, it's easier here because the skin's sort of pulling the other way the chest is more difficult that's where it's likely to tear You can see, still getting there, it's coming along. If you're plucking an old bird, old birds have, um, they seem to have tougher skin and the feathers seem to be weaker, so they're, they're easier to pluck. This one's about, I think about 10 weeks, maybe a little bit more. So you, the skin's still quite tender, so you can tear it if you're not careful. And you can use your thumb, if you feel like the skin's slipping, like it's about to, looks like it's starting to tear, because you get those soft spots, you use your thumb to prevent it from sliding too much. Just keep working it. probably cut that but anyway it's right near the vent down the end so I've got a lot of it done now you can see a couple of bits where it's it does tear because you you need to concentrate and I um, pulled too hard there a little bit on that shoulder too um, but it's not too bad so I'll just give it a quick wash to see where we're at and then you can just pull away the um, little stragglers as well a lot of these, the follicle there at the end will just kind of burn off if you're barbecuing it or something like that. You can keep plucking these away. It's little little bits here and there. This definitely takes longer. Um, so it's, it's more effort required. But uh, the, the hot method is a lot quicker where we dip it in hot water. So I'll show that on another video. Uh, so I'm just going to 
finish this up and then I'll cut it open. Okay, I'm going to take the um, back out of this bird. Get rid of the spine. I only think I need new scissors. And that's pretty much it. See the skin's still on, there's a few little hairs and things, little tiny follicles. Uh, but overall, you can tie that up. You can put that in the oven. You can actually tie that up to hold it together if you wanted. Or I just, I just um, roast them like that. And you know, they taste great with the skin on. Yeah, really good. Uh, but it is slower to pluck obviously and to do it dry is a little bit tedious but um, worth it if you're going to do a big bake. Uh, but it's also work to wet uh, pluck because you've got to heat up water which I don't do for a couple birds and do that for do a lot. Yeah, but worth doing.